Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome to another Railway Empire video. In this one, we are going to take a look at the cattle drive, which is in the original set. It's in the north, starts in 1850, and it's all about moving meat into this city right here, Omaha. So we start in Sioux Falls with $1 million. We're going to have one competitor. We'll bump the competitor up to very hard. And we're going to do this one as the engineer. As I've said in other recent videos, to me, the two strongest ones right now are the engineer because of these cheap locomotives and the lady because she just makes so much money on passenger and mail lines. And in fact, the way we're going to end up approaching this one, the lady would be probably would be arguably even stronger, but the, the engineer will do just fine. And in fact, I suspect uh, could have done this with um, any of the characters and done well. But uh, here we're going to use the engineer uh, and let's just go in and take a look at what the uh, scenario looks like and what the main challenges are. I'll discuss kind of what the challenges are in this one as far as getting a perfect score are concerned. And by the way, when I'm doing these perfect score videos, I'm assuming that if it's hard to uh, get a ta certain task for a perfect score, I'm assuming that's going to be the hard one for you to get if you're just trying to do the scenario in general. So, um, so let's look at this one and see what's really tough. Uh, we have to produce meat in a year and a half. So we have three years to complete. So in a year and a half, so June of 1851, we need to produce 100 meat. That, that, we, that means that we have to own a meat industry and it has to be producing at a pretty good rate. So that's something we we're gonna wanna get into pretty early. We have to deliver meat to Omaha, which is right down below us in Sioux Falls. So that shouldn't be too bad as provided we get into this and we get this. If we do these first two, um, this one will kind of take care of itself provided we set up the correct lines. And the um, cattle to Sioux Falls, you need to get on that right away because that, there's no uh, good cattle ranch close to Sioux Falls. So it's a pretty good hike to get over there, but it's no big deal, no big deal at all. Uh, but you do have to do it in the first year. You have two years total to do it. That means we have to finish it in our first starting year of 1850 to get a perfect score on this one. So then uh, there are four, total of four cattle ranches on the map. We've got to get them all. That's not hard. Produce 100 loads of cattle means now we've got to start owning cattle ranches. Not difficult, but it is going to be cost, uh, uh, costly for us to do it. And you can see here where Roger would be uh, a good choice, too, to buy the meat, buy the cattle, right? He, would, he, would, he, could, uh, he could play this one well as, uh, also. So uh, deliver a, a lot of uh, meat to Omaha. That'll take a while to get a thousand loads of meat to Omaha, but I'll sh show you how we, how we can do that pretty easily. We'll buy out our competitor, of course. We'll stomp on, on Beatrix. It's Beatrix here. It could be somebody else when we reboot it and start up. And uh, connect. here's the hardest one, the hardest one by far. We have a year and a half. So 1852 means there's three years total. And we have a year and a half, so by June of 1851, we have to have 400,000 people connected to our network. And these towns are all little. It's 27,000 here. That's one of the biggest towns on the map right now. And so I'll show you how we're going to, uh, going to tackle that. And we have to produce 20 loads of meat per week, which means that these cattle ranches that we're buying, or excuse me, that the... Uh, um, we have to be feeding cattle into a lot of meat uh, industries, and those meat industries have to be up at a high enough level that they can produce 20 in a week, and they have to, we have to be able to, that means we have to be able to create them and ship them quickly enough in order to uh, um, hit 20. So that just means expand our uh, in meat industries a lot. So let's go back in. Well, let's take a look at the map, why don't we? Okay, so on the map, we start, where do we start? We start up here in Sioux Falls. And the target station is Omaha. And you might be wondering, how in the world could you ship that much meat? It's because of this, a special building 
unlimited meat supplies and delivered to the cities on the East Coast. So this creates a huge demand for uh, meat. And the way they've done it, it's literally unlimited because they don't even have it shown on here as, you know, well, let's see. Yeah, they don't. The city itself only needs 0.2. But that warehouse needs an unlimited supply. So you can ship as much meat as you want to into Omaha and always have a customer. And that's the whole key is shipping that stuff to Omaha. Again, we start up here and we can kind of see we've got, we've got some nice beer meat stuff going on. We've got, uh, you know, we've got our competitors going to be coming out of uh, down here somewhere. Probably Denver, I think, would be uh, her base. And... Um, well, that's about it for the map. The map's pretty simple. There are there are cattles. There's one down over here in Wich near Wichita. There's one down here near Amarillo. <laughs> well, I'm turning Spanish here. Uh, Amarillo. And there's one uh, here uh, near Denver. And there's one up here kind of west of Bismarck, North Dakota. So, um that's going to be the one we'll use to get into Sioux Falls because there's a meat factory, uh, meat industry in Sioux Falls. So there you go. There's the map. That's that's kind of it. So let's uh, let's get in and and uh, run through how to play this. All right. So here we are in the scenario. Did we draw Beatrix again? Yes, we did. All right. So we're going to have to have to get rid of Beatrix, which is always a great pleasure. So what we're when we looked at the map, we saw that there are lots of good beer meat lines everywhere, but we're not going to actually do city growth in this one. Uh, this is going to be weird for me, uh, but we are going to run passenger and mail lines, and we're going to do that for a number of reasons. One is they are super cheap to set up, and you can make a really great economy with passenger and mail lines. So what we're going to do here is set up one to Pierre. Rid of those ugly bridges. Should say costly bridges. There, I'm sure they're quite lovely as bridges go. Uh -oh, what happened here? Not sure why that bulged out like that, but we fixed it. All right, so we've got a nice double double track. I am a double track player, and yes, those of you who are better players than me, and Lord knows there are plenty of you out there, uh, would probably do some sort of passing situation here to save money, but I don't save money, I build build double track. All right, so <laughs> so we're gonna run a passenger mail line, which is, which is just counterintuitive for me. But one of the keys, and that's, let's just stop and point out one of the keys. This, this, as we said in the intro, is about moving meat to Omaha. Well, I don't want to start taking the meat that I'm producing in Sioux Falls, or that's being right now being produced in Sioux Falls, and start sending it over to Pierre. I want it all to go to Omaha. That's the easiest way to make sure that that task gets done. So we're going to have a passenger or mail line. And that's going to do a couple of things for us. We're in 1850, so we have the special cars. So we can set up each of our trains with the special cars. That's a good deal. We'll make extra money. Then um, on the passenger mail line, and we won't be taking our meat away from Sioux Falls and sending it somewhere else. So there's a nice full train, but we're going to pair it back and get our bonuses. All right, so now we've got two, and we're going to run six trains between these two. And the reason I run so many trains is I want frequency. I want the trains to be hitting the station very often. And that way we get more and more of the, of the passengers. And each of those trains can be highly profitable. And we'll check on them later and see how they're doing. Now, an exception will be our line going from Sioux Falls to Omaha. What we want to do here is have... A, an automatic line and the reason we want an automatic line is because of course we want to be able to haul the, the meat that's produced in 
Sioux Falls, we want to be able to haul that meat to Omaha. So the easiest way to do that is without going to the expense of setting up a separate line for freight, we can just simply make this an automatic line, which seems more natural to me anyway. And we'll just make an automatic line that runs, oh man, Okay, we've got a seven degree slope. Let's see if we can, I don't think we're going to be able to take that down any, but we'll see. Six. And get it down to six with a two there. That's probably better. That'll do. 137. That's not bad. All right. And we'll run our line down here to Omaha. Automatic. And there goes eight meat down to Omaha. And we'll run an automatic line coming back the other way, and we'll run six trains on this line. And we're taking advantage of the fact that the engineer gives us such cheap trains. Notice what they cost, 10,000, little 10 to 11,000 a piece. That's excellent. All right, so we've got two lines going. Let's set up at least one more before we think about uh, moving our cattle. So let's go out here to Rapid City. We'll put a second station in Pierre. Back to back with the first one. <laughs> I can drive. There we go. And we'll go out here to Pierre. And same logic, we could easily do automatic and get a beer meat line going, but again, we don't want to be shipping meat anywhere else, because wherever we end up with, with meat in uh, a meat business, we want to be able to ship that meat to uh, Omaha. And we'll open up our one bond, I'm trying to get better at that, and we'll set up a Passenger mail line here, if I can get my signals to work correctly. There we go. Notice a couple of things. I'm not putting any supply towers in, and a biggie, considering this is Doc, who gets free uh, repairs, I'm not putting any repairs in either. Now, why is that? Because I want this thing to run as quickly as it can. I don't want trains stopping for supplies. I don't want trains stopping to be repaired. Remember, Doc pay, pays a penalty for his repairs. Ah, I forgot to, I forgot my rail cars. Okay, we'll run six trains on that line. 
All right, now, we, now we've got three lines going to make us some money, and we need to get started on this uh, cattle. So let's, let's go out here and grab, we'll put a station out here, the closest, the closest cattle we can get to Sioux Falls. We have to run 40 loads of cattle to Sioux Falls in the first year in order to stay with a perfect score. So we're going to run a line around like so and run it direct. Now remember, this is a, a passenger mail, so we don't want to um, try to tag onto it. So we're just going to run as straight a line as we can get into Sioux Falls. And we could run a warehouse here or a expansion, and it's going to be cheaper, actually, to expand. It's going to cost us 60 for this. It would cost us at least 100 for a warehouse. So we'll run it directly into Sioux Falls like so, with as straight a line as we can get, within reason. Three hundred fifty-four miles, two hundred seventy-three thousand. That's not bad. And we have another bond available, so let's open that up. And build one side of that. And here's one where we really could, again, if I if I was a better player, I'm not. I would uh, run some passing lines and get this started, but I am going to be stubborn and double track it all the way. And we'll wait till we have $250,000. So let's just see if we're going to make any money on these three lines. And it looks like, yes, we are. Uh, looks like our money is racking up pretty quickly for us. There we go. 250000 Now we've got our big long line built. And we need 40 uh, to hit our goal. So let's run. We're going to, we're running directly into the city. So we're going to run. Um, trains with uh, the refrigerator car because they make more money on cattle. And we're going to run seven times six is 42. We need 40, so we're going to run six trains. That's two, three, four, five, and six. So now I don't have to think about that goal anymore. I've got enough trains running that when that sixth one hits down here, we will be finished with uh, that task. So what we're going to do here, let's see, what else we got to do? All right, so that one is going to be taken care of. Yes, we definitely want express trains. And we have express trains. Let's go find a way to get more. We're going to do this one because we will own industries, but that's going to open up these in here where we can get more passengers and mail in our research. Uh, security guard we can put on that cattle line. And inventor, yes, we'll take an inventor. And we'll get more passengers, yes, very nice. Okay, so that inventor was very useful. Now, see the little uh, warning, so we're out of supplies, so we're just gonna replace all of our trains for $10,000. Okay, so now we've got brand new trains that are all well supplied and in perfect shape. Okay, so uh, what did I say? I said uh, we've, got, we've got a security guard. We can put the security guard on this guy right here. By the way, if you really wanted to micromanage, I could run the security guard on this train, and then as this train gets into the station, I could I could run the security guard on that train. 
once this one unloads and just keep playing that game and making 8% bonuses, but uh, too much micromanagement for me. So we're going to go up here and continue our, our uh, tactic of branching out with um, passenger lines. I want to build up a little more revenue generation before we get into owning industries because Doc doesn't have any real bonuses for owning industries. So uh, we want to have good revenue stream when we try to get into owning that meat industry in Sioux Falls because you can see that's the next thing we need to do. That's an obvious thing because we've, already, we've got cattle running into it and we've got um, that connection going down to Omaha, which is kind of our ultimate site for sending the meat. So obviously, the I mean, the obvious one to own would be, uh, the obvious meat industry to own would be right there in Sioux Falls. So we're gonna run this little 206 mile line. Let's see here. Now that made it 208. Oh, 198, that's even better. Beautiful. And the reason it's better to have it shorter is, uh, well, one, it's cheaper, of course, but big, big reason is that uh, shorter the line, the uh, faster we can get people there, the more money we can charge them. So, okay, we'll wait to get 125,000. We'll definitely take a conductor. Find a nice train to put the conductor on. And a security guard we can Put the security guard, if I can slow down, I can put the security guard on this guy right here as he's coming into the station. And it's time to replace all of our trains again for $4,700 this time. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. And we want to get over in our research and get the Rensselaer now so that we can get our, um, keep our express rating. So... We have to unlock two of these, so let's go ahead and take the caboose. And we'll have to do something else to get the rental there. Okay. Where was I? Okay, we build our line. We also want that market crier. Market crier. And uh, safety or comfort, it'll, safety will course give us more mail comfort will give us more passengers they're both good <laughs> if we had the lady we would definitely do comfort because she gets her bonuses on the passenger side of it Okay, so all this time we are building up revenue generation from these little cities. But we're also, of course, adding to our total population that we have connected. So we are working toward that toughest goal, which is the 400,000, by setting these up and making lots of money while we do it. Okay, 96, we'll need about 200 and something to do this next one. And once we get it ready, then we're going to think about um, getting into the meat 
meat production business. Okay, let's see where we are. All right, we're 130 against our 400. We'll, uh, we're looking good on the cattle. Uh, we've got to start producing meat here pretty soon. So we'll finish off this one last uh, line here. Not last, but the, this one, let's call it next line. And then we'll get into the meat industry. And just as an idea of how we're doing here, look at these trains. They're making two to three thousand a piece. Let's call it two twenty-five hundred, probably times six, twelve. They're making us about thirteen thousand a week for the for that line for that uh, line right there. And it didn't cost us an arm and a leg to set it up. Two small stations, four hundred miles of track, and we're done. And six trains, which are almost free with uh, the dock. Uh oh. Ah, uh, this happens once in a while. These lines get almost like they're too close to each other. When I run into that, usually I find if I anchor it on both ends, like so. There we go. That takes care of the problem. I don't know what causes that, but those lines get too close to each other, and you, you, when, you, when you're setting your track, you can't differentiate between them. There, we finished the task. It's probably the cattle. Okay, we've got six lines running there. Now we want to get into the production business. We want to start producing meat. You can see we're already hauled a bunch to Omaha, but that's just stuff that was already there in Sioux Falls. Uh, okay, so let's see what it's going to take to buy. Well, we could. Well, we can't place a meat industry because it's got a slot for a second one, but we can try to buy this one, two forty nine. 207, I like that price better. There we go. Now we're in the meat production in, in business, and we'd like to bump that up. It's going to cost us half a million to uh, improve that meat production. But we've got a nice steady flow of cattle coming into. Well, I, I say steady flow. Let's just see if we've got enough trains running. All right, they're starting to slow down, so it's time to replace them. Yeah, we have enough trains running. We're starting slowly to produce meat. While I'm looking at it. Oh, there we go. We've got a new applicant. We'll put another um, security guard on that one. And see what kind of money we make on this on this train. Seventeen thousand six forty, rather than the, because we had the bonus with the um, refrigerator car and the um, security guard. So how are we looking on our production? Okay, 
we definitely want to bump it up. So we'll let's go see what our finances look like. Okay, we can even open up another bond. Good deal. And let's bump up production here. So now we need 7.2 uh, per week. And we'll see if our computer owner out here punches in and levels this up to a level three because that's what it needs to be to match. Now the other thing we could do of course is buy this. It's pretty expensive and then we would have to pay for all the upgrades. So I'm hoping that our computer guy here will figure out that we have a greater need and will increase the amount of um, production or I might just buy it out. It's already level two, so we get one free upgrade. That's a nice deal. But if we buy it, the next upgrade is going to be, I think, a million. It might be 500, but I think it's a million. So that would be, we would need a lot of money to do that. But look at this. We've got a lot of money now. Our income's coming in very nicely. So we need to keep expanding, keep building out, and connecting to more cities and making more money. Oh, let's see here. Where were we? We went up here. Let's go off of Rapid City and go over here and get Casper. So we can expand this station. Okay, it's going to be a light train, passenger and mail, so we're, I'm not overly concerned about the, uh, the slope, but I don't want it to be huge. So we'll drive it down until we get a tunnel and back off. Okay, that gives us a pretty direct line, so let's go for it. So here goes Rapid City to Casper. I'm just going to fire out five, six trains from the same end. It's just so much easier. And they will spread out. They absolutely will spread out. See how nicely spread these are? And same thing here. They, they just naturally spread out over time as they go in and out of the stations and what have you. So let's go over here to Rock Springs and pick it up. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think we're getting a little too close to the mountains here. May have to do this one a little bit differently. Let's go. Oh, wait. I was doing it backwards. <laughs> no wonder. All right. There we go. That's better. That looks better.
I goof up? been the easiest fix for that would have been to, of course to just delete that line and rebuild it but okay we have passengers and mail give them rail cars two three four five six trains and we're working toward this and we don't have anything we can get uh, these are all expensive so let's go over here and get more more passengers okay good deal all right so where are we all right we've got to get this production going much faster no doubt and let's see if our our cattle ranch has adjusted and gone up to phase three he has not, so apparently we're not hauling stuff fast enough to suit him. And to bump this meat industry again will cost us a million dollars. So how are we going to do this? All right, let's buy another meat industry. Okay, so now we have a meat industry in North Platte. And what we will do is set up... Mm -hmm. Need, I need, we need a uh, hundred and a hundred, two hundred. Okay, we need some money to make this work. All right, let's pay off a, a bond or two. One, two. I'm doing some calculating. What I want to do is put a small warehouse over at Omaha that will receive the um, meat from North Platte. Then I want to put a pass-through warehouse on that corn so I can ship the corn back and forth to help those cities grow. We want to grow North Platte now so that we'll be able to expand the meat industry. And then we'll run cattle line from down there. There's one down to the south that will run up to uh, North Platte to get its supplies. And it's time to replace our trains.
Oh, and there's a spy. We definitely want the spy. Go get us something good there, buddy. A promoter would not be a bad thing to promote like Sioux Falls. Just keep it growing. Or no, no, no. Uh, uh, what's it? North Platte, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's promote North Platte, and that'll give us the ability uh, to expand that uh, meat that we want to do. Oh, we got the dragon. Our spy got us the dragon, which is a faster, more powerful train, but we won't mess with it just yet. It's not quite time. Let's get more passengers. That'll be good. North Platte grows. Good. So that means that we can actually expand uh, this one up to a level two now because it's past the 20,000 mark. So we should be able to close out a bond now and open a bigger bond. 542. Good deal. Okay. Now we need to slow down and set up what we want to have here. What we want to have is the cheapest warehouse we can find right here. I'm hoping it'll be able to, there we go. Beautiful. Then we can run either a warehouse or a pass-through station right here. Right, we'll run a warehouse, maybe even pick up uh, wheat. And then out of um, North Platte, we can just run out of this line. Go to our pass-through warehouse. over to this warehouse and over on this end we're going to need switches And here we want to be able to take uh, wheat and corn and especially meat. Max that meat. And this one we want to pick up. Wheat and corn and we want to want a line like this that goes from here to here, to here, to here, and we're going to make it a freight only line. One. We'll just run a couple of trains for now. Because the next thing we need to do is start supplying that um, our new meat industry with cattle. So we'll go down here and pick up this cattle, which we need to do anyway. We need to connect all four cattle and run it over here. Don't really care about that 
uh, slope. It's it's a it's a lot. It's going to slow the trains down, but they'll they'll manage, especially when we get to the dragon. They'll manage just fine. And if we have to, we'll run one more train. After all, we are dock. And our trains are very cheap, so we'll set up a line running full to here. It's going into a station, so we'll definitely give it a refrigerator car. Okay. Now let's give it one more. We'll run four trains in there. So this meat industry will start getting uh, cattle, and our next goal will be to bump it up to a level two. And how are we looking? Uh, we're in great shape. We're in great shape now. Look at this. 74. We've got till June of 1851. Is that right? 1851. 50, yeah, we've got till June of 1851 to get that done. We're almost done with our meet to Omaha first time. That's great. We've got two of these, so we're off to a good start. We're looking pretty good. So I want to go ahead and bump this, this one here up to level two. And then we'll worry about uh, what else we want to do. And can we do all... Uh, we've got to keep those trains running. So we're going to go back to the Philadelphia and replace all of them. And at some point here, yes, I will uh, put in those free maintenance and, and put in the supply towers. But not yet. Not yet. And what did we finish? There's our 60 loads to uh, Omaha. We're producing meat at a good clip. And we're going to, as soon as we have, how much is it? 510,000, we will upgrade this meat industry. Ooh, more innovation points, yep. So we're going to pay off a bond, open up a bigger bond. Give us more packages, please. Okay, looking good, even without that upgrade. Looking good on our meat production. Wonder if this guy's finally upgraded. Yep, see he's finally punched in. Now he's a level three. Another security guard can go right here. There we go. We got our first three done. And we're in great shape for the rest of them. So let's stop right there. And um, we'll continue in part two. But just as a quick recap, we set up some nice passenger and mail lines. And now notice it's April of 1851. And we've got this task of 400,000. So we've got to uh, finish that off. Now, how in the world are we going to do that? Well, if you come back for part two, you'll see how we're going to accomplish uh, getting our 400,000 people connected into our uh, network. So uh, hope you got something out of that one. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.